I'm just not great with things, things like this, but we'll give it a shot. <laughs> it sounds good. <laughs> Hey Newberg, how's it going today? I am here with Nick Storm. He's the new owner of Jack's Deli. I just wanted to spend a little bit of time with Nick, find out why he took over the business and what, what kind of plans he's got in store for it. Before we get into that, tell us a little bit about yourself. I've lived in Newburgh my whole life. I'm a local builder. Got a few houses going right now and some developments in Yemen County. I want to pay back as much as we can and thought start here. Very cool. Well, let's talk about Jack. We have three children. After they went to school full time, she was trying to figure something to do and, and you know, uh, didn't really want to just go to a typical nine to five job. When Joe and Betsy had announced they were selling it, we had talked a bit about a food cart or something. One thing fell into place after another in a hurry and we ended up owning it. That kind of sounds like a, a theme as I interview more business owners that it just like was a all of a sudden snap decision. Yeah, Michelle texted me. She's like, hey, check this out. You know, she sent a screenshot of Betsy's post on the neighbor group. And yeah. One thing led to another and here we are. I've been here a few times before. The custard's delicious and we love the food here. Uh, do you have any plans as to where you want to take it? Being in the car world and enjoying automotive stuff. Yeah. And being a gas station, my wife and I have talked about uh, doing some car event things, some get-togethers. Yeah, like we'll get together. Yeah. 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 Okay, that's, that's so, cool. So, you know, with Dairy Queen killing off the Coney Islands, we are working on putting together a deal to bring back the Coney Island to town and then plan on adding beer and ciders. Oh, very that, cool. So. Tell me a little bit more about the Coney Island. I'm not familiar uh, with it. It's a foot-long Coney, a foot-long hot dog, yeah. and a Coney chili, so it's meat-based, not going to have any beans in it. Steamed as the old Dairy Queen used to do. Yeah. Uh, Served in a sleeve, and that's pretty much it. I mean, it's just a hot dog, foot long hot dog with some chili and relish, onion, and mustard. Making me hungry. My wife is gluten intolerant. Yeah. And this deli caters quite a bit to that crowd. And very cool. Plan to expand on that, not take away from it, and offer a few more gluten free items and, and dairy free items to a crowd that doesn't necessarily have a lot of options. I know it's a Lucky Dutch sticker in the window. Yep. You guys get your. All of our, all of our bread is delivered from Lucky Dutch Fresh yeah. Daily. When Ray's is selling produce, we yeah. uh, buy from Ray's and cross the street and have anything that we can. Try to keep everything as local as possible. That's cool. Supporting the local economy. The custard, obviously. It's a, custard is like a soft serve ice cream, yeah. but it's got a higher back on them, so it makes it thicker and creamier. Gotcha. Uh, Different than regular ice cream or like frozen yogurt. Exactly. Uh, Nowhere near something. Yeah. <laughs> but definitely good. Nick is kind enough to offer up a $25 gift card, and the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna raffle it off. Enter to win by sharing this video, and you'll get one entry into winning that gift card. Thank you. All right. Absolutely. Thank you, man. Yeah. 